I learned the modes in high school. Bill Westcott, my music teacher, uh, had a theory class going. That's how I learned about all the diatonic modes. And um, he was impressed upon me that I might want to develop my own opinion about each one of the modes. So how do you do that? You write them out, you memorize uh, the spaces between the notes, the intervals, uh, you try to sing them, you try to memorize them so that when they're coming at you from some other source, some other player, that you can say, hey, that's Lydian, that's Lydian dominant, that's major, that's Aeolian, I recognize that. And then uh, the other part is, if you're a player, well then you might want to memorize where those things are in different keys. So I started with uh, pedal point exercises. I'd get a pedal point, in this case E, and I'd just start to play different modes. After a while, I st after I memorized where they were, I started to concentrate more on how they blended, which ones sounded good going one to the other, which ones didn't sound good, uh, which ones had common tones. Uh, for instance, like uh, major and Lydian, very little different. So is there, is there a source there for some interesting music? Uh, is it more dramatic uh, if it goes from major to minor? And that's one of those questions that gets answered pretty quickly. So I would just start like this. So I'm starting with Lydian. You can think of it as a major scale with a raised fourth. Then go to Dorian maybe. Solidian, major scale with a flat seven. Maybe Aeolian dominant. Sort of like a minor scale with a major third, you can think of it that way. Lots of different ways to do it. Might go regular minor. Back to major scale. Back to Lydian. To mix Lydian. To Lydian. Maybe do a Dorian again. Phrygian dominant. It's like a Phrygian scale with a major third. And you know, with all of these, I'm not playing too crazy because I'm really trying to take in some uh, melodic information. Uh, there is a kind of a uh, a harmonic uh, bank that you kind of build up. You know, you're playing a couple of notes in a, a Phrygian dominant scale. There's a tension there, you know, because I'm ending on a minor six, so there's waiting for some sort of resolution to happen. And uh, so I'm almost thinking quarterly in a, in a little bit of a way, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's probably where a lot of the work goes in with modes, besides just learning them in two and three octaves in every key. Eventually, you'd want to think, well, what's a Lydian progression? What's a Phrygian dominant progression? So you have to look at the scale. You've got to see what kind of triads get built off of each note in that scale, and then uh, what kind of twos and fours and sixes and sevens are available to those chords as well. And eventually, you can uh, start to relate to the modes not only as just scales, uh, but as keys. And then eventually, they almost become um, emotional themes really because that's you know after you get past the musical part it's 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 more like the emotional impact that uh, the, the audience receives they're not thinking intervals you know they're just they're feeling the music there is a kind of psychology of music let's say that gets 
exercised here. Uh, major scale is going to present a, a brighter, happier sound, right? So, so you would use that not to project sadness uh, in general, let's say, right? And you would use a minor scale to do just the opposite of that. That's sort of like the conventional wisdom. Of course, we like to play with that a little bit and see if we can play against type there, I think. There are some scales that do that, like the Phrygian dominant. I mean, it's got the happy, but it's also got the sad and the disturbing and a little bit of tension. Um, in a way, you might think that it sort of serves two different parts of the audience, the audience that wants to fill up and the one that wants to kind of uh, brood a little bit. So it's got this, you know, brooding is a very interesting kind of a sound altogether. But a lot of that also has to do with what you lean on in a scale. So you take a major scale, and if you're just leaning on these two notes of the major scale, the four and the seven, well, it's not all that happy, unless you somehow resolve it. And uh, Phrygian dominant can also has notes in it that are not very tense, so you could... 